Hello. In this video, I will try to answer the question of whether it's possible to unite various design systems and custom components into one platform that will have a centralized display mechanism and a visual editor for the user interface. And I have a quick answer to this question for you. Yes, it is possible. With OptimaJet Form Engine, Form Engine is a React JavaScript library for creating and managing forms and user interface elements. Form Engine consists of two main components. The first main component is a form builder, a user interface designer that you can embed in your web application. The second main component is a form viewer, a tool for displaying the user interface and working with its data. The basic element of the user interface in Form Engine is the component. Components can be used to create various hierarchical compositions, which we call forms. However, these compositions don't necessarily have to be input forms. They can be a header, footer, sidebar menu, article layout, cards grid, list item, or the list itself, and anything that can be placed on a web page. The library responsible for displaying forms is React Form Builder Core. For new components, metadata must first be created using the API of the design system platform. This metadata specifies editable properties, events for handling, validation capabilities, and localization. All this data will later be used in the designer for editing or placing this component. By default, the Form Engine package includes a basic set of components based on the React Suite design system. You can connect it using this package. To create a form where components are assembled into a user interface element and configured, you're able to use the designer. This is an embeddable element in a web application that can work with the JSON configuration. The designer is represented by the Form Builder component and is provided in a separate package called React Form Builder Designer. The configured form can be saved and then, along with the data, passed to the Form Viewer. The Form Viewer is a component designed for displaying the form. Once you've placed the Form Viewer anywhere, you can dynamically change the form's configuration and data, allowing OptimaJet Form Engine to handle all the rendering work. This way, you can achieve a centralized mechanism for rendering the user interface. The process of installing Form Engine can be described in a few steps. First, let's create a new React application using the following command. Below this video, you will find a link to the documentation where all commands are described. Next, we need to navigate to the newly created directory. Now, install the form engine packages using the following command. Please write in the comments which features of form engine you think we should make instructional videos about. After that, you just need to edit application TSX file. Create a new instance of BuilderView to store the designer metadata. Connect the basic set of React Suite components to it. Also, include various metadata for the proper functioning of React Suite components. Finally, return the form builder component in the app for rendering the form engine designer interface. Next, you can run the application. As you can see, everything is ready to work with the designer. By default, it saves the created forms in the local storage of the browser. Let's try building a form from scratch. For example, I will create a sign-up form in the designer. The root container called screen will use centered alignment. In the screen, I will place a container with width limited to 400 pixels. Let's add several elements to this container. 
For example, the first element is a logo image with a specified height. The second element I will create is the header. Header with the label Sign Up. To talk with an expert and receive qualified answers to technical questions, you can always book a meeting using the link provided in the description. Then, Email Input Field. With an email label. And configure the validation rule immediately as a required field. In this case, it is an email format field. Next, I'm adding a password input field. I will be adding a password input field with a password mask. And also, with the password name and label. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. It motivates us to create new informative videos. It will also be required, with character limits from 6 to 32 maximum length. Let's set rules to ensure the password has at least one digit. Rules will be enforced by using a regex expression with the explanatory message password must contain at least one number. As the main action of this form, I will add a button for user sign up. Let's make it primary with a sign up label. And later, in the actions menu you can add a handler for the on-click event to send user data to your back end. In this example, I want to make the disabled attribute computed so that the button cannot be pressed while there are any errors in the form. So, check if there are any properties in the form errors object. And check if all our fields have values. I can save this function and as you can see the button disabled now because fields are empty. That's it. Our simple form is ready. Now we can go to preview mode and check how it works. On the left side you can see the data and validation errors of the form. When I enter some data, an error will be displayed until the correct value is entered. The same applies to the password field. When all fields are validated, the sign up button will become available. The form we prepared is saved in JSON format, which you can view here. You can also download the resulting form or upload an existing one. I would also like to briefly mention a few other important features of the OptimaJet form engine. First feature. For all text properties, there is a possibility of localization using a fluent localization library. Second feature. You can save any form as a template. And you can reuse the template form. When we'll create other forms. This feature makes it possible to use hierarchy inside forms. Third feature. You can specify any style to one of the device breakpoints.
This feature allows you to conveniently create a responsive design. Now that we have explored the functionality of the form designer, let's enhance its capabilities by adding a new component directly to the left side drag zone. As an example, let's consider adding a component from another design system. I will add material UI component to left drag zone. I will add the link component, which we'll use for navigating to the login page when the user already has an account. First, we need to install the Material UI. Now, I'm entering a command to install Material UI package. Next, I will add a new file to the project, and let's name this file movielink.tsx. In this file, I'll create a new constant. That constant will contain the metadata of the component. Creating metadata begins with calling this defined function. After that, in Fluent Style, I can add various details. In the first place, I will add Component Name, its properties, in our case, Children for the Link Content, will be a string with a default value, Color, with an enumerated type, Underline, to control link underlining, href, to specify the link address, and on click event that we can handle if desired. Now that the definition of the new component is ready. And at this moment, we need to connect new component to the form engine designer's metadata. I will keep React Suite components and add to this array the constant with the definition of material UI link. Please write in the comments if there's anything you didn't understand. Now, we can save the project and move forward to the Form Engine Designer. As you can see, a link has appeared in the left component drag zone of Form Engine Designer. Now we can drag and drop it onto our form and configure its properties. We can specify content text, color, underlining, and link address. This way, you can add any React components from your existing design systems, or create new components. If you want to try the public demo, and continue learning Form Engine, use the link provided in the description of this video. Additionally, you can find more useful tutorials and explore Form Engine documentation. If you find this video helpful, please share as much as possible to create awareness. Thank you for watching the video till the end.